In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little heart. Well, actually, I'm actually going to show you the formula for making a heart. And you can make it as, as big or as small as you want to make it. This is done with worsted weight yarn and size 6 needles. But you could make it with chunky yarn. You could make it many more inches wide if you wanted to. You could make it a the size of a sofa pillow if you wanted to. So um, it's just a little simple math formula. So follow along and I hope you uh, I hope you try it out. I'm going to start with four stitches cast on and we'll knit the first stitch and in the next stitch we're going to knit front and back. A little close quarters working around my camera stand today. In the third stitch, we'll knit front and back. And then we'll knit the last. And then we'll purl, purl back the other way. Not with the tail. I'm going to get that out of my way. There we go. And purl back. In the rest of the rows, we will, uh, let's slip that first stitch so that way when um, it gives it a, ni a much nicer finished edge. So we're going to slip as if to purl and then we're going to knit front and back. And then knit to the last three there's three, or excuse me, knit to the last two. Sorry. Then we're going to knit front and back. And knit the last, knit the last stitch. And then purl back. Then on this row, we're going to slip that first stitch, knit front and back, knit across to the last two stitches, and then knit front and back. and then knit the last stitch. And lay it out and look at it. Okay, so for this example, we're going to stop here. And we have two, four, six, eight, we have 10 stitches. I think we're gonna do one more. We're going to do one more. So we're going to slip the first stitch, knit front and back, then knit across to the last two, and then knit front and back. knit and then purl back. So we have our little the little triangle base for our little Part, and we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We are going to work over 
the next six stitches. We are going to slip one and we're going to knit two together. So what you want to do is you want to find your halfway point. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The, the math goes like this. Work your first stitch, knit two together, work across to the last three, and then knit two together. Since I did a knit two together on this side, I'm going to do an SSK on this side. So I have both right and oops, both right and left leaning decreases. and then knit that stitch. Now I'm going to take my stitch holder and I'm going to take these last six stitches, the other half of my heart, I'm going to put them over here on my stitch holder just to keep them out of the way and so I can use this knitting needle without so much. Not as big of a deal when you're working with as small of an example as this is, but if you were working with a bigger one, it certainly would be a lot easier. So we're going to slip and purl across. And you would just keep doing that decrease on the knit side until you get down. And then you eventually you'll have just the four stitches. And at this point, you're going to knit them together, knit the first two together, and then we're going to SSK those ones together just because that's what I'm doing. You can do, do the decrease however you like. And then we have two, turn it around and we're going to purl those two stitches. We're going to act, so we're going to slip this one and purl that one. And then we will be back on the knit side and we're going to, I'm going to SSK these last two together. Take this needle out. We have just the one. We're going to cut our yarn and pull that through and then we can weave that in. You can already see we have a little heart going. This shapes itself a lot, a lot more smoothly with more stitches. So now we are going to put these stitches back onto our knitting needle. I'll just slip these guys back onto the knitting needle. And then we are going to grab our yarn and our other knitting needle. And it's great because you just make fold your yarn over and just keep going. All right, here we go. We're going to go back and do the same thing. We're going to slip that and we're going to knit these two together. There we go. Get my yarn on there. Helps if you actually get the yarn onto the needle. Okay. And then we're going to SSK these two together. Now, if, keep in mind and knit that last one. The more stitches you have in your base triangle, the more stitches you're going to have on these bumps. This is just an example. This is just regular old ancient worsted weight acrylic yarn. Okay, we're going to purl, always purl, just purl the back side. Um, yes, this is just old acrylic yarn. Use whatever size yarn, whatever size needles, it doesn't even matter. You could use textured funky yarn if you want. And it's going to be just fine. So we're going to 
knit these two together. And SSK those two together. You know, you might have want, you might want to, since this one was an SSK, you might want this one to be the SSK and this one to be the two together. So that way all of your decreases are moving towards the center. It's, in this case, they're all going to go that way. So that was just kind of poor planning on my part, I guess. And then we'll slip this one. Curl that one, turn it around. Okay, we are going to just knit these last two together and cut our yarn and pull that through and then we can finish this off. And there's your little heart. Now some of the fun things that you could do with just this basic little pattern, this is a this could be a fun little applique, so you could make a bunch of them and just applique them on something. Um, if you made it big, you could make two of them and put some stuffing inside and have a little pillow. Make them in green and then put them around each other this way and make a four leaf clover or three leaf clover, make a shamrock if you prefer. So lots of fun ideas that you can do with this little simple thing and it helps you to practice your increasing your d and your decreasing so i hope you have fun with that little this little idea